love Steph. to see you, my friend. This is a reunion. It is my a reunion. People, yes. We uh, we started together at SNL, and now we find ourselves later in life. We each got two children, yes. similar ages too, as well. Yes. Um, uh, boys. You uh, you got uh, girls, right? Yes. You got a couple. There's your uh, oldest with your wife. Look at yes. how beautiful that is. Yeah, and then uh, I like that the older one gets a glamour shot, and then the younger one just like <laughs> you just catch what you can. Oh, you catch what you can when she's almost looking. You how know? Uh, how are they? I love it, man. I love being a dad. They're great. Uh, if anybody has two siblings that's close close in age, you know the oldest one tries not to beat up the youngest one yeah. for snatching everything the oldest one has. Yeah. So anything the oldest one has, the baby is like mine, 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 me, me, me. And then every time she takes it, the oldest one starts crying. And I'm like, what are you bigger? Why are you crying? Push her down. You yeah, know what I'm get saying? it back. Get it back. Get it back. You don't have to ask me permission for everything. <laughs> Step on the toe. We won't know. You, you, know I mean? you, uh, you went back recently. Uh, I saw you at the SNL 40th. And yes. then uh, you went back again for the first time since then for uh, really one of the most historic episodes of recent years, the uh, Eddie Murphy show. Eddie Murphy show. How was it? How was Amazing. it being there? I, was, I, was very, I flew from L.A. I left taping. I said, I got to go see Eddie. Yeah. And I came out, and it was everything I thought it would be. I thought I would have anxiety coming back to SNL. It always feels like yeah. high school. Sure. But it just felt normal and great. And before I knew it, I just wanted to watch the show, and Eddie did his thing. I really came out to get the photo op. You wanted to take a picture. I just wanted a picture, man. It's hard, though, because they're not really a play. It's not like there's a photo line at the end of the episode. Right. So how did it work out? At the after party, because I don't see Eddie. We're waiting for him to come out of his dressing room after the show. He never comes out. Everybody's out there. It is a sea of famous black people yep. in Studio 8H. Yep. It was like a Coming to America 2 audition <laughs> or something. It was just everybody famous that wanted to be in the movie. And uh, so I don't see him there. I get to the party. I'm sitting there. Chris Rock kind of like waves over. And I'm like, I'm thinking he's talking to me. So I go sit with Chris Rock. Yeah. And now we're all hanging out and talking. And I'm just like, man, I just came out here to take a picture with Eddie. He was like, good luck with that. <laughs> Eddie walks into the restaurant, entourage of 10 people, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't going to happen. The only way this could happen is if he's coming toward me right now, and his chair was right here. Wow. And his table went that way <laughs> while I was on the end of the table going that way. And I was like, Eddie! He was like, I was like, finesse! He was like, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, and we got the proof. Pictures. There it is. There it Boom. is. Look at that. It's got got it. It's <laughs> Uh, not only just an just a excellent sketch player, but one of the best comedians of all time. So. Best comedian of all time. It was, I will say it was a thrill to watch him do sketch again. Yes, like, just I remember it. like how good he was at that yeah, in a way that nobody's been ever And since. it just reminded me of how bad I was. <laughs> that is not why true. Why I made an early you, exit. <laughs> uh, you, we, I, I love talking to people, especially from my era, and their failed sketches. Uh, mm -hmm. You had one with uh, Snoop. Yes. Uh, yes. Who you've run into since. Yes. Let me tell you why I know SNL sometimes is traumatizing, not only just on the cast members who leave the show and say, oh, the, I didn't, this didn't happen. That didn't happen. Yeah. The guests are always the same way. Every time, it's 20 years later, I see Snoop, and he's like, finesse, why they didn't do to your pimp this? <laughs> Donald Trump had come on the show the week before we did this big apprentice sketch. Yeah. So Snoop comes on the week after, and he has this grand idea to do the apemptus. <laughs> and instead of saying, you're fired, I'll just smack a chick and say, you're tired. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Snoop, I don't think NBC yeah. gonna let you smack anybody on TV. He so. should be happy now that they didn't do that. <laughs> that they yeah. didn't do it. Uh, you also had a Germazing. Uh, uh, Jermazing was Jermazing. a character that uh, still holds a place in my heart. He had a jerry curl, people. <laughs> and every time Jermazing got excited or you called his name, he says, huh? And his jerry curl juice <laughs> hits the person next to him in yeah. the face. And he was a waiter. And he was a waiter. So <laughs> imagine saying, waiter, huh? And juice goes all in the self face. And it was a Kristen lot of special face. effects for this. Yes, because just... they couldn't use, they couldn't actually make it work. So somebody had to like spray juice from the other side. Right. Water wasn't leaving the wig in time, so they wet a big paintbrush, <laughs> and they just had water on a brush. And every time I said, huh, it, they just <laughs> flash people. <laughs> so you just see Kristen Wiig soaked or Chris <laughs> Parnell soaked. And when we couldn't get it right, they're sitting there all wet, and they're just looking at me like, your days are numbered. <laughs> your days are numbered. Uh, you did some uh, Black History Month sketches uh, that I, I found. Now, those remember. were, and, and it's Black History Month. Right now. Yeah, right Welcome now. Welcome back, yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, Pomerantz, one of my favorite yep, people. Lauren Pomerantz. Lauren Pomerantz, J.B. Smooth. Yeah. Uh, we came up with Kenny Wilkins, the first black man to say no to direct deposit. <laughs> yeah, that was yes. Just, yeah, very just famous. One of the, very famous <laughs> sketch. Yeah. So, how do I get my check? Oh, we put it directly into your bank. Yeah, but how do I cash it? 
It's already in your account. But how do I know that? You can check your statement. One second. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. First black man to say no to sushi. Oh, yeah. That yes. was hey, Kenny was that as well, right? Yes. Yeah. And first black man to say no to uh, winter sports that only white people would do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Have you been enjoying That was a fantastic clip. Have you been enjoying our match? It's this is your amazing. first primetime sitcom. This is my first primetime sitcom. The Lord has really been blessing people, and I'm just really excited because it's a great cast and a great show. It stars Jason Biggs from American Pie. There Everybody you go. remembers Great Jason to see Biggs. Him in the yeah. club as well. Uh huh. And uh, Maggie Lawson is his wife. They have four great kids. Three are geniuses, certified geniuses, and they are not as parents. They're very not smart. Yeah. And one child, the youngest, is not smart. So that's the one they love the most <laughs> and identify with because the other three are trying to play who's going to run this house. I got you. And as parents, we all know kids who get, hit that age where they think they're smarter than the parents. So I come over as the black best friend and my beautiful wife, Tisha Campbell, who plays Rita. And everybody knows Tisha Campbell from Martin and My Wife and Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's a sitcom, you know, icon. And it's just a great show, man. That's it's, great, man. It's fun. It's, Congratulations I'm on excited that. excited about Congratulations it. on the kid. It's always great to see you. Finesse. Thank you for being here, everybody. Yes. Finesse Mitchell.